so you want like a low exactly. you want that like low you got cut. it okay and those spin treads will get rid of any water that gets caught on the face it'll disperse that so now you can really start and you see that whip on there and spin <laughs> <laughs> And that's Dude, the shot cool. I wanted to see perfectly demonstrated. This, I love the way it's bottoming out. It feels really good, the interaction with the turf. Because, like, for me, I've struggled in Florida with grain. Yeah. Um, I'm always, like, digging the leading edge. And I, I feel like when there's grain, especially into the grain, I just want to have a wedge that maybe I can have a little more bounce yeah. to help me out. Yeah. Maybe this could be the difference with my 60 degree. <laughs> We're at the Kingdom, I'm with Grant Horvat. We're gonna be looking today at the High Toe 4, brand new out from TaylorMade. You've got a couple in your hand, I've got them here. We'll start by peeling off and revealing. Ooh, this is the best part. It is, mate, this, this is, is the, the raw best face, right? best part. Oh, man. I just, I don't want this moment to end. So you'll notice as you're taking off and revealing the, the raw face, we've got spin treads have now come to the High Toe 4. So, Grant was just talking to me about that. You've had some good experiences with spin treads, first few shots, right? Oh yeah. What do you see when you hit them? Um, for me, I mean, immediately, especially when they're right out, of the, right out of the cover like this, you're gonna spin the balls basically back from this yardage. Yep. Um, which is pretty crazy to look at. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm curious to hit this high toe wedge. I've, I've hit them before, um, but I wanna see how this one reacts. I now you'll notice shots. here, raw face, but also we've put a leading edge score line into this wedge now. So high toe has the high toe. When you look at it from the player's point of view, it's got that slightly different look to it. It's got full face score lines, but the leading edge score line has also now been paint filled so oh, that you cool. can get a feel as the golfer, what sort of position you're putting it in in relation yeah, to yeah. the target. Now that is important because we have three different bounces here and grinds. So I've got a different bounce that we know, which is the camber on the sole, but also a different grind. As you look down the bounce of this club, it's gonna have four-way camber. So you might be like, well, what does that mean? It means it cambers off on the heel, on the toe, and also the leading edge. So it almost has its highest point in the middle of the sole, but hit that off this turf and get some wow. feel for it. So if you as a golfer open this up, then the wedge is gonna slide through. If you maybe play a tricky one where you're gonna to go toe down. It will dig, so I can slide it and dig it. All right, let's go to this, let's go to this first one. I'll try and use the bounce here. Oh, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but what I liked as uh, someone who's watching you fit, you can see here, the bounce went in and then it hit the low point and came out for you. Right. This is my favorite grind for most of North America and guys gotcha. that are playing. The so ATS. Put, play one a bit higher for me that okay. maybe you cut left across it and use that full face groove. Now those spin treads will get rid of any water. So you that want like a low, you exactly. want that like low You got cut. it. Okay. And those spin treads will get rid of any water that gets caught on the face. It'll disperse that. So now you can really start and see that whip on there and spin. <laughs> and that's Dude, the shot cool. I wanted to see perfectly demonstrated. This, I love the way it's bottoming out. It feels really good, the interaction with the turf. Cause like, for me, I've struggled in Florida with grain. Yeah. Um, I'm always like digging the leading edge. And I feel like when there's grain, especially into the grain, I just want to have a wedge that maybe I can have a little more bounce yeah. to help me out. Yeah. Maybe this could be the difference with my 60 degree. So Florida, different bounce 11, ATV. Now this is an asymmetrical grind, but you can see that it's almost got, if you look at it, and I'm looking at the 56, you're looking at the 60, it goes leading edge, then it concaves down. If you rub your finger down there, you can see it actually goes down. So there's almost so two is... bounces. Okay. So you can get your leading edge in, and then the second part of the V will capture the grain. So what is this going to do better than the first one? So it means that the leading edge when you get into this is going to be able to get into that turf a little easier, but then the second part of it is going to pull it out. But it also comes if you start opening the face, then you're revealing the back part of the camber. 
Gotcha. So you okay. get the back part of the concave. It comes in as we test some bunker shots. You'll notice it as well. So there. what shot do you want me to hit here? I think if you go first off just with the, the square leading edge and you'll see if you can fit. So the same two shots, really. Square yeah. leading edge, low one, and then the cut across left one. How good is it? Brand new spin treads is yeah. ridiculous, Dude, right? They, when you take them out of the cover like that, yeah. they spin like so much. How do you feel about the look? How do you feel about having the confidence of the high toe in there? Um, I mean, in a 60 around the greens, it does not bother me at all. Like, I actually like this feeling of the grooves going all the way up exactly. here. It feels like if I were you know, to go under the ball a little bit, it would still catch the grooves up high. Yep. Um, it's a good visual. It actually, it almost looks like there's more forgiveness. So you notice you've got in the high toe graphic, that's actually raised. That's like a weight pad up there that brings the flight down. Cause I think anyone watching this can see you're flighting these in perfectly. Yeah. They're not going up and dropping. And that's something I struggle with. So this is, when it's coming out low like this, I always say on all my videos, like I'm trying to hit this shot low, like a low wedge here and they don't always come out well, so. This could help you. I mean, you've got 60 degrees and these are probably launching around 30. Yeah, this feels really cool. Weight left here, let's try and hit that like spinner. We like stay on top of it. Very good. Yeah. Very good. That's it. Pleasure to watch, okay. So that grind that you're holding is inspired by some other wedges that TaylorMade offer, but it has three different low points almost so it's got a ski edge at the front then the middle and then it cambers off okay so if you open the blade up you're going to use different parts of this mid bounce on offer but what i would say about that particular one if you place it down as if you're going to play the club and then you go hands forward that's when the leading edge is going to get lower versus a mid versus even if you wanted to reveal a different point part of the bounce and go back now this turf is wow. a little soft but if you were playing on different types, it's just as you're doing there, just catching the ground perfectly, based on where you set your hands, dictates yeah. which part of the bounce you like, use. I feel like the wedge I currently have right now maybe doesn't have enough bounce back here because when I open it up, yeah. so when I lay it back, kind of offset my hands behind it, I feel like I don't have much bounce to work with. And yeah. that feels, I can feel the back of that club bouncing right there. And you can hear it. Yeah, which is cool. Which, to be fair, this ATS as well could hit what you're trying to do. Also the ATV. I mean, it's really a personal thing. Yeah. yeah, hit the same shot so we can see the comparison. This one might be a bit more diggy based on that leading part, the leading ski. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Awesome. Oh, my awesome. goodness. I mean, absolute masterclass. Hit me one with just off the left as well. That that came out maybe one of the best ones yet. That was the lowest. Sounded great, but yep. that was pure. That was ball first striking. That was one of the lowest. You want me to play this, what'd you say? I think if you play the cutty one as well, just to try and leverage the part of the toe yeah, let's out there. I try and play it a little. I played that those last couple forward in the stance. Okay. I want to try one back. Um, kind of cover this, like a low fade in there. that look at the rip on that yeah that thing had some had some spin i got to try that one more time nice like that <laughs> i can't tell if that was spin or off the pin like what just happened i think anyone out there watching this what you've got to understand <laughs> What I like about Grant here, he's gone forward ball position, back ball position, letting the player try all the different bounces and all the different grinds to give you the different shots. Let's go forward and have a look at maybe just off this rough here on the upslope and see if anyone reacts differently. The beauty with the one you're holding, you can set the hand position in a different place and get a different spin and a different feel. You mean field. go up there? Go, go into the, the forward part and the low okay. part down here. All right, so I brought you to a fairly flat lie, ball's a little bit below your feet, but mm -hmm. that's gonna enable you now to check this part of the camber, which is the heel. So on a normal golf shot, if you're gonna lower the shaft and open the blade, 
that's when the heel comes into play. So coming here, a lot of average golfers would struggle because they might dig the heel in. So with the cambers that we've got here, if I'm gonna pass you first out the gate, let's go with the ATV. Okay. So this one has quite a bit of heel relief. They all actually do. So this Ooh, is yeah, this area one's, here, one's and you'll see it dig. might not dig. Yeah, so just play me a dig, couple yeah. to the yellow flag and then maybe to the blue flag. Okay. But we're kind of looking at that heel so area. So we're not trying to dig, we're just trying to use the bounce. Exactly. How nice is that sound? Oh, that feels great. And you can see, look, from here. Yeah, I barely even. Just, and this is new turf, so. Right, and I can almost fly this all the way there with all the spin. So even that one where you've got a bit more diggy, notice how it came out. I'm gonna hand you the A. Yep. TS now, this is the four-way camber. So this one has the ability, it, that one wouldn't have dug as much with this bounce. So this is not gonna dig as much. Shouldn't dig as much. I think this is the one you'll probably end up oh, yeah. looking towards. So that really bounced. So get oh, used yeah. to it. Yeah, spun, but it really bounced on you, didn't it? I like that though. That felt yeah, I know. really That's what you're soft. looking for, right? Really soft. That one felt good. Yeah. And then if you go for the third one, the commitment has to be, again, where you set your hand position. So if you're going to lay your hands back a bit, you're going to leverage a different part of the bounce, which yeah. I know you like to throw that bounce in. So by that, oh, yeah. I mean you like to come this way. Yeah, I can really throw it and pat, let the club head basically just pass my hands this way. Yeah. Try and use it. So that would be in the back part of the bounce. So that one that isn't the cleanest of strikes, but notice yeah. how the result is pretty and that good. one came out really high. And Let's that's the it. idea of the bounce there. Right. Good. Oh, that was it. It's great. That was it. Yeah. And look at the turn as well. Anyone watching, look at the turn that you're giving it. Let's get into the trap. Okay. Finish there. That's my favorite place. I, I think then, mate, this ATV, okay. let's start with that, with the back concave bounce. Gosh, I get excited when I go to a bunker. Okay, let's get into the trap here and let's play to this blue flag. So it's downhill a little bit. Okay. So you're gonna have to open this up and yeah. then use the back part of the bounce, which is why I wanted you to start with that one. Again, we're looking at the ATV wedge here, having that back part of the camber. Perfect. All right, first pin here. You're gonna have to get. A, we're gonna have to get a little bit of spin. It's my favorite shot in golf. Um, so I want to see how these different bounces react. Just look at how open that blade is now. So this is all the back part of the bounce. Great sound. Oh yeah. So by creating with that asymmetrical bounce on this sole. Now you can really use like you want to do. We've talked about it in the method you've used to get the hands back and use the bounce. That this one is felt probably good. why you love this. Yeah, this one felt really good. Good. But that your decision it. would come, and I'm going to go back to the ATS. I would be toying between these two bounces for you. Okay, because so that was, which one was that one? Well, that was the ATV, but look at that, Grant. Look at the sole and where the, it's good actually to show, you got the moisture with the front, but also the moisture here. So you've gone low point, concave low point. Gotcha. And you can really see as we look at that, where the bounce came in and was activated. Right. That one felt great. Both of those shots came off really good. I could feel the thud. And I feel like for me, when I'm hitting bunker shots, I want to hear that that thud. Yeah, the second one was awesome. Yeah, and that. I felt but that it there. that's a great look. That's a great sign that this wedge is really a good option for you. Let's hit this one. Same thing. So there's you adjusting to it. Good bit of spin. Yep. I like that one a lot. And look, if I'm looking at the strike points on this one in my hand, I've got room here to say to you. If you really needed to spin this, you can come across, you can whip across even more because you're yeah. centered on those. We got all this full face score lines. So right, right. You can get some... playful with this. Yeah, yeah. Even that one, look, is center and high, which is another reason if you look at the strike point, center high with that high toe weight. Right. That's what you're liking. 
So it just interesting. Adju- so I could. You're saying I could spin it more if I hundred percent try to rip it across yeah. the face. Okay. And that's what you you get in this wedge. There we go. Oh man, how good's that? That was close. Look at the direction of the path. Awesome. Look at the golf shot, and then that we got was... the strike. Really good. As good as we could hit it there. So that's how I'd play around with looking at the different bounces, exploring what works on the mid-length shot, then the chip, and then coming out here. I, I think, obviously, you're the best example for all these things. Dude, I don't know what happened today, but I need to look into these wedges. I careered that and then careered this, so. So there you have it, an absolute masterclass from Grant as to how you hit wedge shots around the greens. If you want to get custom fit for some high toe four wedges or you want to learn more about these, go to tailormadegolf.com where we've got all the information.